Welcome to Safe and Sound support videos brought to you by Safe and Sound Creative Technologies serving the East Tennessee area. Today we're going to be talking about the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus, uh, the general operations of this system. Uh, the first thing you'll notice on the screen is in the big um, box on the left is the system disarmed. All you got to do is press that button Select arm system type. and you can choose whether you want to arm the system in stay or away mode. Uh, the stay mode is if you're staying at home and you want all the doors and windows to be armed but you do not want the motions to be armed. The arm away mode, that will arm everything including the motions. So that's the option you want to do if you're not going to be at home at all. You can view a more detailed video on arming and disarming on our YouTube channel or our website. To get back to the main screen, just touch anywhere outside that box. In the top left hand corner you'll see a weather button. You can press that to see the weather in the coming days. To get out of that screen you just touch anywhere else in the screen and it'll go away. You'll notice on the right side of the screen there's a box that has active and all at the top of it. If you press the all button it'll show you all the sensors that you have on the system and whether they're open or closed. The little icon on the side looks like a paper clip. That tells you whether it's open or closed. So right now, it's a closed paper clip looking symbol. So that means everything is closed. If you were to open a door like I'm going to do now. Front door open. Um, it shows that the paper clip symbol um, breaks apart. So that shows that something is open. If one of the sensors on the system is tampered, it'll look like this. Front door tampered and it'll also say front door is tampered as well. Front door open. When it goes back to the non-tampered state, then it'll go back to whether it's open or closed. We're going to close the door. And now the door is showing closed. That is in the all tab. If you go to the active tab, it'll only show you the current active sensors. So right now there's no active sensors, so we're going to open the door again and then the front door appears in that box. Whenever a sensor is closed, it'll go away. Just like that. The bottom right hand corner of the panel, you press right here, and this is your emergency buttons. Uh, most of you will just have the police and fire on the system, so if you needed the police to come, you can press the police button and it'll contact the monitoring center to let them know the police need to come. If you press the fire button, uh, It'll contact the fire department and let the fire department know that they need to come. There's also a silent alarm feature right here under police. So if you press that, it'll contact the monitoring center to let the police know they need to come out, but it will not sound any sirens on the system. If you press the top one, it will sound the sirens. So if you want to get out of that screen, just press anywhere else and it'll go away. And you'll notice whenever we tamper that door, earlier a little number one popped up above this little envelope up here if you press the envelope it'll open up the info screen on the very first tab you see contact us with our information the middle tab will be video tutorials on how to do everything with the system you can watch these um, only on the main panel uh, then the next tab is the message alerts and alarms tab you press that and it'll show you if any issues you have with the system. So earlier we tampered the front door and that's what's showing right there. And if you want to clear it, all you gotta do is press the little circle beside of it. And it'll ask um, if you want to delete the alerts and you just hit OK. And now they're gone. And if you press outside the screen, it goes back to the main screen and you see the envelope is uh, now showing clear. Now on this system you can also swap to the left or right. So if you swap to the right there, you'll see the panel camera. This system has a camera built into it. So anytime the system is disarmed, it'll take a picture of whoever disarmed it. Anytime the alarm goes off, it'll record video uh, during the alarm. And on this screen you can go back and view existing pictures or play uh, existing video that has been recorded. If you wanted to delete them, you just press the little trash can icon and hit OK, and you have to key in your master code. And now it's deleted. 
right now you see that we are in the all tab so this shows every single picture or video that has been taken you can press the alarm tab to only see alarm pictures or video you can press the disarm tab to only view the disarm photos that has been taken if you keep swiping to the right you see that there is a Wi-Fi box and a software version box and a Bluetooth box so this system can connect to your Wi-Fi network to use as another way of communicating with the monitoring center and it can also be used as an access point for your house Wi-Fi uh, the box on the right uh, it just shows the software version of the last time it has been upgraded and this system does have Bluetooth built in and that's what that is for if you want to get back to the main screen you just swap to the right again and back to the main screen if you look at the top of the panel you'll see a little line at the very top if you swap down you'll see the additional options for the system it'll show you the current status of the system you can adjust the volume of the panel you can adjust the brightness of the screen here you can click right here to change it to Spanish you can click right here to clean the screen it'll deactivate the screen so you can clean it uh, right here in the middle you got photo frame you can change the settings of the photo frame so when the screen is inactive it will cycle through a wide variety of pictures to make changes to the photo frame you just press the photo frame and you will see that there are photos that are already pre-installed in the system if you want to just view what the slideshow looks like you can press the play button and it will automatically start playing all the photos that are in there if you want to delete a photo you just press the delete button if you want to add photos to this you can press the add you can upload your own pictures into the system via SD card that you would install in on the side of the panel we're going to go back uh, to change the settings of the photo frame you press the settings button here so the different things you can change here are the duration of each image on the panel uh, the effect when it cycles between each image you can set it to shuffle uh, random pictures instead of going in order if you scroll down you can see that we can determine which display type you want it to be right now we have it on photo frame but your options are off so whenever the screen is inactive the screen will go blank or you can set it to weather clock so when the screen is inactive it'll show the current weather and the time uh, right here you see where you can adjust when you want that photo frame to start whether it be the weather clock the off or the photo frame um, five minutes is the lowest you can go or you can go up to 30 minutes if you press messages and alerts it'll take you to that same screen we were at earlier that shows you uh, the issues with the system if you press settings you can get into the settings of this panel so you can adjust your brightness and the way the, the font size is whether it uses a 24 hour format clock or not you can hit the back button right here uh, you, uh, you can access the SD card that could possibly be in the system if you decide to put one in there uh, you can change your temperature format you can check the status of the system status of z-wave devices that might be on the system uh, as well as other z-wave devices automation if that is set up activity monitoring view the license and then you got advanced settings advanced settings is where you would change your user codes if you would like enter user code it'll ask you to enter user code so you key in your master code and this is where you would go in and change your user code if you want to you just click on user management and then right here you can change your user codes and set the type of user as well we also have a more detailed video on user management on our website or YouTube channel uh, you can view information about the system you can do system tests here uh, you can reboot the panel power down the panel and set up Wi-Fi adjust sounds on the system and view your remote secondary keypads if you have them to get back to the main screen you hit the back button or you can hit the home button right here in, on the bottom it takes you back to the home screen this has been an overview of the Qualsys IQ Panel 2 Plus system uh, for more videos on the operation of this system please visit our YouTube channel or visit our website at safeandsound.com